Hey there everyone, this is Kman2037. I'm going to be playing through Banjo Tui on the Xbox Live Arcade for you guys. This is going to be my first ever Let's Play. I just got all this stuff together today. It cost me a bit of money, but I think it's going to be fun. I'm going to give this a shot. I, I, I got this game as soon as it came out last year. It was about it was in April, I think. And I, I, I love this game. I played through it as a kid. And this, this past Christmas break, I played through it about two or three times. Did a couple speed runs. As you can see right here, ranked to number 11 in completion time. All 900 notes and 90 jiggies. I used to be 8th, but then it's been about 6 months since I last did that run, so... Obviously I've dropped a bit, but still 11, pretty good. So, I know what I'm doing. It's, it'll be a... It'll be about... I'm, hope, I'm aiming for 7... Maybe eight hours. I'm not gonna do a total speed run. I'm not. I don't want to aim for perfection. That's just frustrating. I want to have fun. I'm gonna play through you get for you guys. Maybe help you out with some spots that you need help with. So it should be a very smooth playthrough. I know this game in and out. I I think I'm just gonna go through go for the 900 notes and 90 jiggies at first. I don't know if I'll complete the entire game, as in beating the final boss. So let's get started. an empty file here. I think I'm just going to skip these cutscenes. If you guys want me to go through them some other time, I'll do that. If you don't know the story, uh, basically in the last game, Gruntilda was... Gruntilda was knocked under a boulder after you defeat, defeated her in the first game. And now she just got un... she just got unsealed and she killed bottles. So basically we're just going to... We're just going to rescue rescue him, you know, get him recovered, beat Grunty again. Obviously, you really don't play this kind of game for the story. Play it for just having fun. It's for the it's, it's for the adventure, it's for the action platforming. I mean the story's kind of fun. The characters are really adorable. I love the I love the, the little sound effects they have. Down here we have our first boss fight, we just go against Klungo. And there's three Klungo fights in this game, this is the first one, and each time there's he has a different potion that has a different effect on him. Now what I don't really don't like in this game is you can't really skip over the text. I mean that's kind of irritating when you when you're trying to do a speedrun and it, it just kind of breaks the flow. But I guess it's kind of alright. I mean I suppose if you haven't played this much or you're just interested in, in well, reading through the game, it's up here for you guys to see. But like I said, not really a story game. So I'm gonna do this boss out really quick. Let's see what potion he has. Oh, the big potion. But that's not that hard, you just kind of attack him. He kind of finds a magic shield, and he just throws potions at you really easily dodge. I can just stand here and move side to side. Wait for the finish throwing. We attack him again. It takes three hits to beat him. Let's go back and forth here. It didn't take long to get to our first boss fight. It was pretty easy. Uh, there's a boss fight in every world, and some of them, some of them are kind of easy. Some of them are pretty hard, depending. But like I said, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be all 90 jiggies, all 900 notes at least. And I think maybe afterwards I'll go back through and get the, I'll go back through and get the Cheeto notes. I mean Cheeto pages, and the empty honeycombs. I mean, I'm still kind of in a speedrun mentality right now, so I kind of just want to just go for the notes, go for the jiggies, just stay at 5 health. I mean, the game isn't that hard. It's not that hard difficulty-wise. Maybe a couple bosses would give you trouble if you only have 5 health. It wasn't really an issue for me. So now we go to the Jinjo Village and Isle of Hags. You have these silos. Silos, you can go to the different areas of the Isle of Hags. Should be good to get some notes. 
I mean, some eggs, some feathers. In this game, you have, you have a bunch of different eggs. You have, you need to start with your regular blue ones, but you get fire ones, you get grenade ones. It's just, I mean, for, there's, there's, I mean, it's a big improvement from the last game. And the, the first game was fantastic, I mean, but this game is what a sequel should be. I mean, I, 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 I could, there's a ton of things I can name that are, that are just improved. That not, I mean, not that they weren't bad in the first game. I mean, I mean expanded would be a better word. It, it expanded upon the first game. Here we have King Jingling. He's about to get zombied. I'd love to skip through this, but you probably want to see it, so... I mean, the first part of the game is just the longest get through because you have... You have these mandatory cutscenes. I skipped the one at the beginning of the game, as you saw. But basically, yeah, the beginning cutscene, they're just playing some cards, and they, 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 they're storming outside, and Zooey hears something, and it ends up being Chimchilda, and her big drill machine, and she uses it to just drill everywhere. And you'll see the tracks going through the Isle of Hags, going into different areas. You can kind of see where she's been. It's kind of there to give it more of a sense of what's happened. So yeah, if you're watching for the first time, I really appreciate it. Not really sure how good I am at public speaking, being counseled in public speaking. I do, I know I have a bit of a stutter sometimes, I'll try to work on that, get my thoughts more coherent. And I hope you like it. Like I said, just give me suggestions, give me what, what you want to see. I could probably play through the first game, but I don't know it as well. Uh, actually, I know it pretty well, it's not as fast. And I saw a speedrun on this game, on the on the N64, the record there, it's everything. Notes, jiggies, cheeto cages, honeycombs, and being the final boss, it's under 5 hours, and that's just ridiculous. I mean, I think I've done all that I want right now. I mean, for me to get... I mean, I did the speedrun without any planning, just through playing the game through repetition. To get any faster, I think I'd have to go through maps and start planning out actual routes. And I'm not sure if that's something I want to do, time-wise. I mean, after I played through it twice, that on Christmas vacation, I started playing a third time. And I was just going for too much perfection. It wasn't very fun anymore. So I just decided to stop. I didn't I haven't played for a while. Like I said, my first time playing about six months, but I still know the game really well, so you won't see me flopping around figuring out what to do. I know exactly where to go. Here we have the first Jinjo. And the first time I got the Jinjo, you had to sit through this long cutscene. Well not really long, but like I said, it's the beginning of the game, you have a lot of mandatory things that you just don't want to sit through. And then you, but then you can go have fun in the levels. What's also really annoying is... Well, I'll, I'll get there when we get there. And you have, you have nine different colors to Jinjos, I think. And about, I think 45 total. Like, like there's one white one, and then there's nine black ones, and then there's two, three, four, five, six, etc. And once you finish off a group, you get a Jiggy. And this is the area where you go to unlock the different levels. You have... Instead of actually giving up your your Jiggies like you did in the first game, you just like need to have a certain amount, and then you, you do a puzzle challenge, but you don't actually use up your Jiggies, you just have like a certain amount. And then you need you need one for the first world, which you, you just you just got now. Four for the second world, eight for the third world, fourteen for the fourth, and then twenty, twenty-eight, thirty-six, forty-five, fifty-five, and seventy. If I remember correctly. Yeah, you can see I, I played through this a couple times and just have all the requirements down. And you gotta go with all this puzzle. Which I'm gonna do in the next video because I am getting near my time limit. So next time we're gonna solve this puzzle and we are gonna go to the first world. So thanks for watching.